Hey folks, it's Bill Swift, Swift Canoe and Kayak, reporting in from our test paddling center at our Algonquin store in Oxtongue Lake. We're going to talk to you today about the beautiful Cruiser 12.8, which is our very popular pack boat for average size and smaller people. David Yost has designed it, our absolute genius designer friend. It's got a very shallow arch bottom very rounded in the chine area like all our cruisers has a lot of flare and a lot of volume above the water line it really rolls with waves very nicely you can really pedal it in adverse conditions because the fullness is carried so far up the sides on the boat it really pushes waves off to the side away from the boat so it's got a very comforting reassuring feel to it it's got the beautiful S shape in the gunnels where they curve back in and then come back out. So when you're doing a paddling stroke, you can paddle right next to your body. Very straight keeled in the back end, so it tracks very straight. Little bit of rocker upwards curvature in the front on the bottom, so you can really get it to maneuver when you want it to if you're in a windy, twisty situation. This particular Cruiser 12.8 is a Kevlar Fusion with a sapphire blue finish on the outside. It's got the black and gold aramid fabric on the inside. The carbon end caps, and we always drill a hole in the end so when you flip it over the water will drain out. This has the standard black and gold carbon Kevlar trim with the cherry handles and thwarts. You can also order the tech package where it would have the carbon handles and thwarts. Some other really nice features on the boat. It's got adjustable foot braces that you can adjust right from where you're sitting. The seat, ooh la la, the piece de resistance of Swift pack boats, other than the design. This seat pad is so comfortable and there's a very nice shape underneath here very thick foam it's got a beautiful surface very adjustable it's got the adjustable lumbar support so you can find the sweet spot in your back where it feels just right the strap flows right through the back so when you're paddling very easy to the, the seat moves with you so it's got a very easy comforting feel to it when you're not using it, if you're transporting it or portaging, you just clip it into this other clip and pull it tight. And this particular one, I, all pack boats have a pin system right at the balance point of the boat. So I've got one of our cherry yokes right here. Beautiful wood finish. Just going to set it into the pin on one side and the pin on the other and just tighten it up. We also do the yolks in a sassafras wood, which is a little bit lighter than this, and also in all carbon, which is, has a beautiful finish. So towards the back of the boat, there's a lot of fullness to the shape. It's a very buoyant boat in the water. And the back of the boat, I'll show you, it's got a float tank on each end. It's got a, it, they're air tanks, and air expands and contracts with different temperature. If you ever see the tank disshaping on the outside of the boat, you just open this up and neutralize the pressure and then put it back in. Now this has the very distinctive, what David Yost calls whale tail stern shape on the boat. So he recurves the stem back in. It takes quite a while for our laminators to get the process down, how to do this really well and really nice. They're all made with our resin infusion process, where when we pull them out of the molds, the hull and the gunnels come out as one structural part. And they're, they're extremely strong and extremely lightweight. There's some other pack boats in the industry that are a little bit lighter. They don't have anywhere near the durability of these boats. And this seat system, adds about three and a half pounds of weight to the boat, but it's absolutely integral 
if you're a real paddler and you want to be able to sit in your boat comfortably for hours. The Cruiser 12.8, an absolute beauty. My paddling partner, Adrian, has volunteered to help today and she's going to paddle the Cruiser 12.8 for us. One of the most important things about being able to paddle it though is to be able to carry the boat. We're gonna show you how easy it is for a 120 pound woman to pick this boat up and carry it to the water. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's go. We going? Let's go, I'll grab the paddles. So Adrian, let's show the folks that from a dock how easy it is to get in the boat. Notice how she's got her hands behind her on the paddle and her left arm is actually holding the thwart and the paddle. Adrian has very good balance, so this is very easy. And why don't you wiggle the boat a little bit? Show them just, it's always good to get used to the initial stability feel of a boat and by moving it around a little bit like that it really gives you a good idea. All of our cruisers have a little bit of a playful feel when you first start in them but as you get used to it it becomes second nature you don't even think about it. And of course the more momentum the more speed you get as in all vessels the more stable the boat becomes. So do you want to go play around for a bit? I sure do. Let's show the folks how much fun these boats are to paddle. Okay. Adrian's going to paddle right towards Joe now. She's got a nice smooth kayak stroke. And then she's going to slowly lean the boat to the left. And what you'll see is the boat's really going to turn to the right. The boat will move the opposite side to what you lean it to. It allows you, when you do your turns, to keep a normal kayak stroke going so you don't have to do correctional strokes to slow the boat down. It's a really good skill to learn, especially if you paddle sometimes in windy, twisty streams. And as your skills grow and you find if you're out on an open lake and maybe the wind is blowing you in one direction, you can help control the direction the boat is going a bit by leaning on it. And Adrian at 120 pounds is a really nice size for this particular boat. She could also take some paddling gear with her like a day pack, a small dog, small child. Um, I'm 225 and I can paddle in the Cruiser 12.8. It feels like a little sports car to me. So I'm much better suited to the bigger cruisers, the 15.8 or the 16.8. But for someone average size and smaller, this spunky little cruiser 12.8 is an absolutely fantastic boat. Very light to carry because it's a little bit shorter. Wind and waves don't blow it around as much. And it's got a really good acceleration and glide. Someone smaller with not as much power can get this boat paddling very efficiently. And you can see just by her speed, by looking at the trees in the background here, just how efficiently, like she's not trying to work hard. She's just doing a, a cruising recreational pace. But look how beautifully this boat moves through the water. Many people have been buying these pack boats from us that previously would have bought kayaks. And part of the reason why they like the pack boats is they're lighter, they're more portable, they're easier to load on and off a vehicle. And if you do want to get in at all to doing portages or carries where you go from lake to lake, a pack boat is much easier to portage or to carry than a conventional kayak would. 
Look at the smile on her face. Do you want to come in here for a sec, Adrian? You bet. So you look very smooth in this boat. Mm -hmm. Do you, what do you feel paddling it? It's so easy. It's just, I feel so light on the water and it moves so smoothly and so efficiently that it just makes it an absolute joy to paddle. Looks like you had fun out there in the paddle. Yes. <laughs> How do you feel in this boat? I feel really light in this boat. I feel uh, it's very efficient, so I find it really easy to paddle. Uh, I feel like I can bring the speed up without a lot of effort. And it, it, as much as there's you know, the ability to have this movement, I feel really stable in the boat. Um, it glides, it turns easily. It's, it's really a beautiful paddle. Now, how about your comfort, the, the foot braces, the seat? Like, what is your comfort level like? It's a 10 out of 10, yeah. It's, the seat is fabulous. I've not sat in a boat seat like it. It's incredibly comfortable. And the foot braces are easy to adjust and uh, they work great, yeah. Another thing that I love about pack boats is there's room to take packs also. Mm -hmm small children and we could even take our friend's dog Nano with us. <laughs> we could. Yeah, there's lots of open room. It's very easy for all of that. Now for the fun part, Adrian. Let's flip it up and take her home. So here's a big shout out to former Swift employee, Karen Gray. She worked for us for 19 years. Karen's just over five feet tall. Karen carried a milk crate in the back of her car. She put her four foam blocks in it, her straps to go over the middle to tighten the boat down and the ropes for the end. And then when it came time to put the boat back on the vehicle, she put this right next to the car. And let's show them, Adrian. So the key for Adrian right now is she's putting her hands right in the middle of the boat and she's using the yoke pens to let her know where the, the center balance point is. So this is literally going to give Adrian another 10 to 12 inches of heights. So how about that guys, a milk crate. What a great use for a milk crate to make someone taller. So Adrian can balance the boat nicely. The foam blocks are so padded that you can move it around on the vehicle and they're not gonna mark your car up. Nice. And now once Adrian's finished this, she can center each end. She can put her straps over and tighten them down easy. She can put the ends. We've got ropes that'll go on the ends and you can do this by yourself. Yes. Happiness. Yes. Independence. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Okay, folks, a cruiser 12-8, 120-pound gale, life is good.